Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. And you are expecting that we are going to the Grandfather, uh, the Warlock, in order to kick his ass. And I would want to do that. However, I also want the Icarus suit. And look at that, only three more days. So we're going to start uh, farming for that. I know, I know, big disappointment. Let's just hope the three days are going by without any... Um, inconvenient uh, events got a nice little shredder gun that's great some more loot over there Avengers just one more day as soon as we see the Icarus suit popping up we're going to get to the warlock I'm so excited I really want to finish him come on come on nice nice all right. Do we need to upgrade it? Um, I do. We need to upgrade it. Build items, armor. No, I think it's fine. So good. Let's take a look here. Roby. Mobility, this armor should give you nearly unlimited freedom of movement in combat. Oh, hell yeah. Daddy is home. Thank you. So, that's 26 hit points. My god, this guy already has a lot of hit points. He's a monster. He even has 10 dodge. I like it. He certainly can survive a couple of shots. Now, the only thing is we need to fix your color. And then we're ready. Number one, secondary color. What's a cool... Wait, let's get the primary one uh, first. And do we have some sort? No, we probably don't. Damn, I wanted to have some... Some armor pattern. Nope, not gonna happen. So no armor pattern for him. However, let's see what color would really work out well. Black certainly doesn't. How about white? White isn't bad. Yellow is okay-ish. The red one is cool with a gun together. I think the blue ones are probably still the best. Green isn't bad either. Pink is, yeah, different. Yeah, that's just different colors of white. I think we're going to go with the red. Interestingly enough, the red here looks even more pink than the pink. Yeah, upon closer inspection, I decided to go with blue. Probably won't make any difference, but if we're going to get our ass handed by the Warlock, I at least want us to look cool. Okay, guys. Time for the mission. We're looking at a couple of elite uh, troopers, shield bearers, officers, heavy mech, and an elite specter. These here would be way easier if we had blue screen rounds. But it's a trade-off, right? Like, if we're taking blue screen rounds, Avenger, then the mechanical plot. units will be easier. On the other hand, we will be exposed to his potential um, mind control shenanigans, which we definitely don't want to do. So, let's take everyone out. And we are going with Roby and Hawkbite. So, the question is really... How much healing will we need? Because if we wouldn't take a med kit with us, that would mean we're only having like a group heal and one normal heal. That's it. Um, I'm not sure. I think that's a little bit too uh, too less room for maneuver. If we're not taking our blue screen rounds with us, 
uh, we're going to have problem with the mechanical units. And if we don't take the mind shield, we might end up being the victim for the warlock. I want the warlock combat to be as easy as possible and I'll find a way to deal with the other uh, packs as we go. I just clicked on the launch button, guys. Now there is no more turning back. So we're looking at Spectre, uh, Spectres and um, Elite Spectres and Max. Let's see if this one is going to work out. No Chrysalids, no um, Sectopods, I think no Andromedons, but we have a couple of Archons and a lot of um, Advents. take the fight to the chosen themselves intel on this facility is almost non-existent in fact you all right you let's go baby these walls. this may not be the most ideal situation but it could be yeah, it certainly is not the most ideal situation out. good luck and be careful the maybe is an understatement my friend most certainly is okay, not people. an ideal Stay situation 26 hit points roby that is disgusting that Two Icarus jumps. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Such bravery. Such steadfast determination. Such arrogance. To step foot in this sacred oh. temple and dare strike down a child. First room and we are triggering the first pack of enemies. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's take these things out. So, first of all, let's get rid of uh, his Overwatch, which I really, really do not appreciate. Done. Good. Now, secondly, do we already want to use the teamwork? Probably not. We could, in order to get in deeper, Hmm, let me think about it. I mean, they do not have any chance of actually reaching us. One of the cool parts about the Icarus suit is you can jump on top of uh, on top of the ledges here. And take the high ground. Might as well do that because realistically they are going to run in. What's over there? They are bound by tactical analysis, so. We can simply wait, in this case giving us uh, full cover and threat, as uh, threat assessment. So the first one uh, moving in will take a reaction shot, there we go. Guardian, come on, we can do more. Hey, we're protocol. 
What's the chance to get this guy? What are we looking at? Fifty-fifty. Not bad in a two-person run. It's actually not bad at all. On the other hand, like moving in here, just solidly hitting everyone, it's also not bad. So that way we would definitely be able to to kill us uh, to kill the uh, the mech, right? Hmm. Let me think. We're not having blue screen rounds, so we don't have like particularly high damage. And we need to get him going. So if we were to charge in, we probably could take them out. out well I suppose parrying all right let's send over the teamwork all right time the mag needs to uh, needs definitely to die first right so that's the starter. The make is down to what? Nine. So we're going to go for Reaper. In order to kill the mech. So close. Mech is still going to die. But we only have one parry instead of two. Could have used this, uh, the second parry. Luckily, we have a good dodge value. To yet another full cover. Come on. Good job, Roby. Well done. Death from above. Let's get run and gun over here. Into a flanking position. Deflection. 
All right, softening him up just a bit more. And that here is a kill. I see the shield removed. Let's get Perry going. And we're up with 80% um, dodging. So the Templar certainly is online now. Looks like a charm. I think we need to wait three more rounds. So I just want to get if, if you say so. the run and gun cooldown back. The In the meantime, we can move over here. So that's four down, ten more to go. No one will slip past. Overall, one more round down to run the gun. And we're full on uh, focus. Oh shit. So many mutants. That's the only group that I wouldn't want to fight. Wow, that's bad. Okay, a protocol. Let's see. to do that. <laughs> and not even Vault is really going to matter all too much. I mean, that's two hits, but that's about it. Don't want to use Ghost yet. Kill this guy. Let's use lightning hands in order to really kill this guy. Okay. have a hard time finding a good way to eliminate all of them. We could close the doors and do a line of sight play because they only have one action. They can't really get all the way to us. I suppose that that's even effective. So. Try to kill one of the mutants. 
unfortunately that completely missed that. They position quite well. Can't even reach them. This world is ours. Nice little hit there. And the door opened again. Which stinks. It really is not good. Um, if we were to carry here can't really hit him um, due to lightning reflexes but he could reach us anyways even if we were I mean we could put ourselves in full cover right even here yeah let's do that That way they only can shoot into full cover with um, with um, a protocol. Yeah, and that's a very low chance for them to hit it. So, what is happening up here? Like, how is this even full cover? confused. This here shows me that or the, it indicates that we can kill someone. Pretty strange. Alright, this guy is stunned. This here is a kill and death from above. I got that one. My ammo's running low. So we do have untouchable. Which then again we can go gun gun into full cover. Very solid hit. And this here is parrying. So that is untouchable. Good. Right. And this here will be Bladestorm. And then hopefully uh, parry. Well protected. The mutants act predictable. When they have their chance for melee attacks, uh, they will almost always try to go for it. Pretty good. I love it. So that's four plus four, that is eight down. I'll keep it 
under watch. How much longer must I endure your sacrilege? If it is peace you want, I shall gladly oblige. Easier than I would have expected. A bit of a rough start. But I think we're making up for it. So far, no consumable used. Just a little bit of health lost. Two is not so much. Waiting for run and gun again. And it seems we're on the right uh, track regarding the next pack. There's an Archon. Sees the Icarus armor and pisses his pants right away. Love it. That's how it's done, baby. Good job. Lightning hands. By the way, beautiful ability. So good. Reload and let's take a shot. And we're going to parry. He's still panicked. Reload and take a shot. Yep, he's not going to survive. Just too much damage. There you go. By the way, Icarus armor immediately paid for itself. I'm glad I waited the three days. So that's four plus four plus two. There are four more enemies. And it seems as if this year is a dead end. that. Maintaining I this think area. we could try to get uh, into this direction. Might as well lead to the final room. I guess that'll be okay. I'll maintain my watch. Got it they are out there. Yep. Pretty sure this is going to lead into the right direction. Reloading, just getting cooldowns back, really. And now it is time. All right, let's go. Pretty sure there will be enemies within the last room. By the way, interesting. This here seems like pretty much the chamber where the avatars are being stored. Never seen I'm that building here. block in a chosen holdout. And the group of enemies is going to be right there. Right there. Okay, I'll go. And I do have an idea, like since we know they are right there, we're going to go in guns blazing. Blade Storm functions. Um, so once here. 
another one is here three of them are here might as well be might as well be an obstacle one is here Okay, I either am going to look extremely smart after this move here, or incredibly dumb. Let's see. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. Okay, we're hearing slashing sounds. So that's one hit, two hits. <laughs> and one of them is panicked. Perfect. Love it. Alright. We got this, boys. A protocol onto ourselves. We're going to close close off the room. Alright, closing the room means they can't reach us and this guy here is going to die we're still having overwatch shots with threat assessment and hogbite here is going to parry of course can't do much against uh, the psionic bomb other than of course a good old reaction shot We would have had Guardian for additional shots, but those uh, guys just removed all of our ammunition. Not really sure where the second one is. Are they both standing in one another? Again, not really sure what's happening here. And our weapon should be empty. We shouldn't have ammunition. Let's get out of the Psy Bomb. Watch the side. <laughs> Untouchable baby. Don't mess with us.
Alright, let's soften this guy here up. Job the job. Got another untouchable going. And another parry. Yeah, well, he's stunned anyways. By the way, interesting choice of the game to put three Archons and a Codex as the final pack. Like, that's a hundred hit points. And pretty difficult to hit. Good job. No more enemy units. We are done, done. We are done, done, guys. And uh, this is a different experience uh, than I would have expected. This is a much different experience. It's somehow so. easier in some of the packs, just because the soldiers are so incredibly strong. But it is also difficult, and I really don't know how difficult the end uh, boss will be. Whew. So it's time to battle the warlock multiple times over and over and over again. Wish me luck. We're going to see that in the next session, and I'd like to see your predictions down in the chat below. It's time for the real deal. The Warlock will not go down that smoothly, but we got Hogbite, and Hogbite is a force to be reckoned with. Thank you so much for watching. I truly enjoyed that part of the mission. Let's see if the second part will be just as enjoyable, and uh, let's see if we can pull it off. Have a great evening. Goodbye.